Hello. So I am committing um, right now in front of you to do 100 days of video. Um, I have no idea what will come out of it or I don't really even know why I'm doing it. But I was inspired by Kyle Cease. Um, if you haven't seen any of his stuff, I highly recommend it. Um, but I've been watching his videos, not all hundred plus of them as there are now, but, um, I just like his style and I think that it'll help me be more authentic with who I am and with you and get to share, um, my experience as I move through life, um, with anyone interested in watching. Um, so my name is Kelly. I'm currently in Denver, Colorado, dog sitting for this really cool dog. Um, he's hiding, otherwise I'd show you. If he comes out to play in a few minutes, I'll um, I'll turn the camera around, but his name is Scarf, and he's this cool dog that looks like a, the Fraggle Rock dog, um, but even cooler. So anyway, um, and tonight I just was walking him, and I... I'm trying not to think of like topics uh, for these videos because I think that will distract me from being my authentic self. Um, but I was on the walk and I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about dating. I'm newly single right now after being in a uh, monogamous relationship for seven years. And um, it's really interesting because you know, it's only been seven years, so it's not like I started dating when technology wasn't helping people like me date. In fact, I met my ex-husband um, online dating. And, um, you know, people, I remember people commenting like, oh, you met him online dating. Now it's such a common thing, even just, you know, seven years later. Um, but at the same time, when I started dating, like things like Tinder weren't around. Um, and so um, I am on Tinder. And, um, it's, it's really interesting. I, you know, I guess when it started, it was kind of the like hookup app. Um, and now it, I mean, in my experience, it hasn't been that. And I've even heard from a couple guys that, um, they've noticed that women will put on their Tinder profile that they are not interested in hookups. Um, so obviously they're putting that there for a reason like that clearly was a thing before they've had experiences like that um that triggered them to write that but anyway um yeah dating's interesting like I have this crush on a guy right now um who is uh I met through a friend and um it's just really interesting because I I'm such a different person than I was five, ten years ago. I've gone through so much personal growth and if you're interested in what I've done, I'm happy to, you know, feel free to comment. I'm happy to let you know. But I, uh, I've just done so much growing that I feel like had I had the same crush like five, ten years ago, I would have been pretty devastated by what the outcome might be if he wasn't interested. And I now I'm not really attached to that. And, um, but at the same time, my ego still likes to like build it up and make it seem like a bigger deal than it is. Um, so I find myself diving into that. But at the same time, uh, just having fun and enjoying the present moment. And if he's interested and more awesome, and if he's not, then awesome. Because... Ultimately, like, I don't, I don't want to be with someone long term, um, especially as my last relationship has taught me, um, that doesn't want to be with me. And so, uh, so yeah, I kind of feel like if he is interested, awesome, cool, let's see where it leads. And if not, Awesome cool, let's see where our paths go <laughs> separate and maybe we'll still maintain a friendship or something. But, and I'm trying to replace, um, I went to a Byron Katie workshop a few years ago, a couple years ago. And, uh, I did her 10 day school for the work and 
one of the things she mentioned was just about replacing but with and. And I, I love it. I just, it's totally changed the way that I even view the world. Because when I add a but in there, like, what's the point of that but? I start thinking about it when I'm, like, needing to su- substitute an and for it. I start thinking about why was there a but and how come and isn't an easy substitution? Because I think the world that I want to live in, I want and to be an easy substitution and eventually part of my natural language. But that's probably another topic for another video. Um, but anyway, dating. Yeah, it's just so interesting. It's interesting. You know, I feel like a friend of mine um, was married for 18 years or so. I can't remember exactly the number. And I can't imagine getting out and dating. Um, you know, if I if I started, if I got married in my when I was 20-ish, and, um, it's 2017 now, so that would be, you know, if you started dating in 97, you know, you start dating someone, and, and then you're getting out into, like, you know, back into the world of dating, 20 years later, like, 2017, you know, where all these online opportunities are out there, but navigating them is a pain in the ass, and, um, it's kind of a whole new world. I feel a little bit like it's a little easier for me just because, you know, compared to this friend, just because I, I, like I met my ex online dating, it was a little bit more of a thing. Um, but, and it, I love it because I think it expands your network. It opens up your network of people. Um, you know, I'm on this meet mindful site, which I got through an email from Eckhart Tolle because I'm on the Eckhart Tolle like listserv or something like meet mindful what's that and then I just learned about another um way to like kind of open up my you know ways of meeting people and I'm really digging that right now and I feel no attachment to you know I say that I'm saying it right now publicly because who knows maybe tomorrow I'll do a video and I'll feel a lot of attachment and so um and, that, and so that's why I'm doing this and that's why I'm being real with you because right now I feel no attachment. I feel like, you know, I have this crush on this one person and who knows where it'll go and I feel okay with either direction. At the same time, I, you know, I'm also, should put some context here for you that, you know, I do want like a, a long-term relationship. I'm not, um, I don't, I don't know... I'm trying not to analyze myself on whether or not I'm ready um, or not, you know, or what that even means or, I mean, readiness is, that's just a weird, I don't know. I just know that I'm currently single and I'm interested in dating and I'm also interested in, you know, eventually at some point and, and I'm open to it now, finding a person that I I want to spend a longer period of time with, maybe start a family with. And, uh, I don't know what that will look like or how, how it will surface or if it will surface and that's okay. I feel good about it. I kind of love my life right now. I feel pretty free. I'm lucky enough to be in this beautiful, um, state of Colorado, dog sitting, um, and I currently live in Montana. Um, I just moved there from California. Um, but I'm originally from Massachusetts, so I bounced around a little bit. Um, and uh, just kind of seeing where this next chapter of my life takes me. New stage in my life. So I think that's all for tonight. But um, I'm going to do another video tomorrow. So tune in if you feel like it. <laughs> Or comment below if you have questions. All right, bye. Happy, happy 4th of July, since I think it's technically the 4th right now. <laughs>